Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. I know we're right in the middle of coronavirus hysteria. Been seeing a lot of COVID-19 related gun content that's been pretty entertaining. But I heard some troubling news lately. I heard that Brandon Herrera had an issue with me saying that the AR-15 was the best possible flugaloo survival rifle that you could possibly have. And I heard that he was going to make a video about it. A lot of people don't know, but we have discords, chat rooms, and the AK Guy chat room and the TFB TV chat room. A lot of users bouncing back and forth. So I've got some moles that found out he was going to run a video talking about why the AR-15 sucks as a survival rifle. And I severely beg to differ him. In fact, insulted because the AK-47 is the gun that actually sucks as a survival rifle. And I'm going to give you seven reasons why that is. Number one, design. This one, the AR-15 wins 10 out of 10. The AR-15 was made by Americans for Americans. The AK-47 made by communists for terrorists. Think about all the greatest people in history. Americans, right? We're thinking about Americans. And think about the best Americans. George Washington. Dude never used an AK-47. George W. Bush, no AK. George H. W. Bush, no AK. Jesus. Great American. That guy never touched an AK. But you know who did carry an AK? Hmm? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I mean, it's a fact. Is it not a fact? Uh, can we agree with this? And we're not a political channel, but I've got to say... <laughs> Moving on to number two, durability. Another important factor for a survival rifle. Perhaps one of the most important, and yet again, were the AR-15 dunks on the AK-47. The AR-15. CNC machined with computer milling machines by American workers in the United States technology. The AK-47 made in third world countries out of pot metal by slave labor. At least if you want a good one. Fired, failure to feed, hand cycled. Number three, reliability, yet again a very important factor. Yet again, the AR-15 prevails. You guys saw the TFB TV video that Andrew did a year or two ago where he actually dragged his AR-15 in a drum full of sand and rocks behind his truck, pulls that sucker out, and it ran. Now for the AK-47, you guys already know where I'm going. Carl Casarda, my dear friend, great dude from InRange TV, he did a torture test of an AK-47 Four or five million of you saw it. One of the most popular videos in range has ever run, and it was amazing. I mean, Carl gets an AK-47 and a wheelbarrow full of the Yankee Marshal's feces. And he actually scoops some poop onto the AK, tries to fire it, and the thing can't run. Doesn't run at all. I was embarrassed. I was personally embarrassed for Brandon Herrera and my good buddy Mishiko whenever I saw that. Number four, ease of use. Again, very important. You want to have a good manual of arms. You want to have a gun that's easy to use, that's pragmatically laid out. Does it sound like I'm describing the AR-15? Because I am. Magazine release, right there. Safety, right there. Bolt catch, you've got it right here, right where your thumb naturally rests after you put in a loaded magazine. Charging handle right here, don't have to come off target. Don't have to spin the gun around, do a 720 with it like you do with some other platforms. I think you know what I'm talking about. So the AR-15, it's laid out logically. Buttons in the right places, switches and levers in all the spots you want them to be. I mean, the problem I think with the AK-47 is not only is it not logically laid out, but it's actually dangerous. I mean, it's, it's so easy to use that it's dangerous. I mean, look at these uh, the manuals. Here's a manual from an AR-15, a safety manual from an AR-15. What does it say there about, yeah, don't, don't leave it around children. You don't have to worry 
Um, just leave it out of reach of children, you're gonna be safe. But the AK-47, a little bit too simple, a little bit too easy to use. And I mean, let's look at the AK-47 manual here. Oh my God, look at that. You leave it around children, they're gonna become Zimbabwean Marxist rebels. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You leave the AK-47 around your kid at home, he's gonna become some sort of communist freedom fighter. Incredibly unsafe. <laughs> Stopping power, this is a really important one. I usually like to ask people, hey, are you okay with accidentally murdering your kids? And if they say yes, I'm like, okay, well, maybe you should look at an AK-47, you might like it. Because what happens is, let's say you have an intruder, breaks into your house, and you've got an AR-15, and they're firing these fast light rounds, they're coming out at like 3,200 feet per second, little 55 grain rounds, they come into contact, with an intruder, they're gonna turn them into a pile of like spaghetti sauce and cherry jello. But as soon as it hits drywall, if you miss, which is next to impossible with an AR-15, but if you miss and it hits drywall, then it becomes like uh, gold and silver glitter, you know, fragments upon impact if you miss your target. The AK-47, on the other hand, unfortunately, if you do shoot and very good chance you miss an attacker in your home, it's gonna go, through sheetrock, through insulation, through sheetrock, through more sheetrock, through more insulation, more sheetrock, through your child's skull, through more sheetrock, and then the exterior of your home and probably into your neighbor's house. So, I mean, if, you're, if you don't care about your, your children or their lives, I think the AK might be the gun for you. Accuracy, so we all know that the AR-15 is measured accuracy for the AR-15 minute of angle and that is how much of a deviation per every hundred yards is there so you know if you shoot a group at a hundred yards you shoot with a good ar-15 you'll shoot like one one and a half moa that's a one and one and a half inch group at a hundred yards with a, a kind of a lower end ar-15 maybe two or three moa the ak-47 on the other hand that measurement is mom and you would think it was something metric but it's actually mom is uh minute of manslaughter and that's how many of your comrades you accidentally kill with friendly fire when you're trying to shoot at your target not only does it have about the same range as an infrared tv remote that's how inaccurate the ak-47 is they used to actually measure its accuracy by how many people you didn't negligently uh, kill or maim when you're trying to to shoot at your enemy it's true story it's facts <laughs> Ammunition, another big one. We've talked about this in my videos in the past, my Booga loadouts video. Ammo is a huge consideration because how much ammo weighs, how much the containers, like the magazines, or if you use clips for the ammo weigh, that is really important because you're gonna to wanna to carry as much ammo as you can. So the thing is with the AR-15, it's a very lightweight round, 223 is. So you can carry almost double the 556 or 223 for the AR15 that you can for the AK47 not to mention you're carrying it in either polymer or aluminum magazines that are very lightweight with the AK you're looking at magazines that get close to a pound each those steel magazines and they're also that awkward banana shape they don't stack and pack very easily so really, less, less than ideal. So you've got steel magazine, steel ammo, heavy ammunition, twice as heavy as the AR-15, probably gonna be carrying it all in spam cans. You're going to need help from your comrades and your children that you haven't accidentally killed yet with your AK-47 to help you carry all this ammo through the wasteland at the end of times. All right, so I wasn't keeping track, but I think the AR-15, that was seven, factors and the AR-15 won seven of them and the AK-1 hmm, zero and I'm sorry I somewhat respect you AK guys that watch the channel but it just so happens I mean these are all facts this was all facts and data that I was throwing at you the AR-15 is just the superior Kung Flu Survival End of Times Terminator 2 Rifle that the AK-47 
is not. Hmm. That was quick. That was fun. I need to go upload this before Brandon gets his up. That's going to be hilarious whenever he logs into YouTube to upload his video and he sees that we beat him to the punch. Uploading time. Time to upload video about why the AK sucks. All right, let's see here. <laughs> what? Brandon, you son of a bitch. Oh.